Hey everyone, this is James Dudra, co-founder at EcoTouch. I'm here today to introduce one of our newest products. It's EcoTouch's portable waterless car wash system. And basically, what this is, it's a battery-operated way to apply our waterless car wash solution. So if you're a fleet manager, a uh, mobile detailer, municipality, and you have a lot of vehicles that you're working with, this is a great way to go about cleaning them. Now I just want to run you through some of the key features today. Um, first of all, it's a five gallon tank. So it holds five gallons of ready to use waterless car wash formula. And on the conservative side, I'm gonna say that's gonna allow you to clean about 65 to 75 full vehicles before you would need to refill it again. Um, the other cool thing about this, this product is that it has an auxiliary tank. So let's say that you know, you're doing the exterior, but then you get to the wheel wells and you have um, a solution that needs to be much more concentrated. We could slip in, say, an all-purpose cleaner here and quickly switch, um, switch between the two tanks. The other neat thing is that it comes with this, uh, this spray wand. So for the high sections of the vehicle, uh, like the roof panels, you would go up here and you could easily uh, reach them. Now if you needed a little bit more control and you know, you're just working with the regular uh, sidecar panels or the, the uh, hood, um, this is a shorter version of the, uh, the low pressure wash. Now it's about 65 psi, so it's not like a traditional pressure washer that maybe you're used to. Um, you're not going to use a whole lot of formula when you're working with this system, which is a nice thing because you want to try and conserve as much of it as possible. Now I'm just going to turn the unit around on the back so you can see some of the other features that we have. Now like I said, it's battery operated. So if you look on the bottom here, you're going to see that we have a regular 220 volt um, outlet that you can just plug into and then you plug it into the wall. You also have the, um, the charge feature. So when you're done for the day, you want to charge the unit back up, just plug it in and switch it to this, um, off for when it's not in use, and then pump. So basically when you turn it to pump, you're going to see these little lights start to, to go on. Red means that we're out of battery juice, yellow means that we're getting low, and green means that we're fully charged. So when you first hear it turn on, you're going to hear it start to uh, you know, fill the, the hoses up with, with the solution. and um, what I was mentioning before is that, you know, if you're switching between two different solutions, it's pretty easy to do. So right now we have it hooked up to the auxiliary tank. So let's say we want to go back to the main tank. Well, all you do is you unhook this here, and now you're plugged into the main tank. Now what you're going to notice is that these connections are extremely sturdy. They're um, metal, they're highly rugged, so if you're out in the field working and the unit takes a little bit of abuse, these are not going to snap off. Now the other cool thing is that uh, the hose itself is around 20, 15 to 20 feet long. It's a tangle-free hose, so you're not going to be tripping up on yourself. Again, this is extremely rugged. It's made for industrial use. As you'll see, it also is on wheels, so if you're mobile and you need to move this around because five gallons of formula is pretty heavy, um, it's, it's a breeze to move. Um, we say for every gallon of water, put in about one cup of the concentrate. That's going to give you enough cleaning power, enough protection on your car's finish for when you're done. Um, there are other ways you can dilute it, so as you become more comfortable with the formula, you can change it. Say you want to do a 1 to 10 dilution, 1 to 15, 1 to 20, what have you. It really depends on the formula or the, um, I'm sorry, the vehicle that you're working with and how dirty it is. So you have to make your own assessment and, um, and choose the right solution. So uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Let us know if you have any questions.